Hello, my name is Zachariah with Old Man Gaming. Welcome to another Snap Judgment Review. What is a Snap Judgment Review? If you have never watched one before, well, I think a lot of game reviewers nowadays get uh, a little caught up in 100%ing their game or getting close to the end. Uh, and this, uh, this unfortunately makes them overlook the first few hours of the game, how fun it's going to be right off the bat, which is what I'm trying to tell you uh, with this review. I get about five to ten hours with these reviews. I'm just t trying to tell you whether you're going to be having fun yeah. right off the bat or not. That, coupled with the fact that I think reviews are one of the uh, video games are one of the most subjective forms of art, I won't be giving you a score to this review. Instead, I'll be telling you what the overview of the game is. Then I'll be giving you a list of pros and cons uh, that are my point of view, as all reviews are. And then I'll be telling you whether I personally will be sticking with this game outside the purposes of this video. One final disclaimer that I have to throw out there, I am fighting a vicious head cold right now that is obviously making my voice sound a little bit weird and making me a, bit, a little bit slow, so I didn't want to wait on this review because this game is huge right now, so just bear with me. So what are we reviewing today? We're reviewing Pal World in its game preview slash early access form. This is Pocket Pair's new Pokemon with guns. Uh, it has already become one of the most popular games in Steam's history, selling huge copies, forcing Pocket Pair to scramble to get servers open, to try and open up features, <laughs> to have emergency meetings with Epic. Uh, it's kind of lit the world up, and I think even more so than they thought they were going to. Uh, which is nice. It's not a scam and uh, You know right after we got the day after scam. It's nice to see that there is one that isn't one So what is pal world at its core? It's not just Pokemon with guns It is a survival game with Pokemon in it and action um, It's tough to describe in one little box But I'll say this a lot of people are comparing it to Ark survival evolved i wouldn't think arc survival system is very severe whereas this is uh, much more on the easy side uh i would c actually compare this to grounded that's really what i got the feeling of when i started playing this was grounded with pokemon instead of insects um there are a couple of other things about this that make it really interesting uh, in this game. Like I said, you will beat down Pokemon with your fists, with sticks, with spears, with guns, and other such items uh, until they are weak, and then you'll hit them with the Pokemon Spear and try to capture them. Uh, you try to increase your pal decks. As you try and increase your pal decks, you can also keep these Pokemon and use them at your base, which you will then build by gathering resources. And those resources are the same as the normal things you would find in a survival game. Wood, stone, ores, different sort of things like that. You'll then craft structures uh, as well as different devices to help you ease your way to get bigger and bigger crafts. And thus, get bigger and better bells. That being said, there are some aspects to this that are very different. The pals themselves can be put to work on your base, doing stuff around your base, repairing things. Just about anything at your base, any job or task can be done by them. This is a survival game, so you'll be crafting your own ammunition, your own weapons, repairing your goods, whereas the pals can do that for you. They can also cook you food if you have the right pals, plant crops for you if you have the right pals, and build different structures for you as long as you lay down the plan ahead of time. There is quite a large map here, and there is a fair amount of exploration. Uh, not only will you explore to find new pals, uh, which actually aid you in the creation of certain systems, uh, but you'll have to search for different eggs that you can incubate into new pals you haven't found before. You'll search for different statues that give you bonuses, uh, different experience, chests that can give you gold and loot, other settlements and traveling merchants that might be able to aid you in your quest for a price. And then of course you'll be taking on different bad guys depending on the area. I've only been to the first area as I am in the first five hours, but uh, this first area, but I've seen enough of the videos to know that there are plenty of different islands with different, plenty of different areas and plenty of different bad guys to take on. Your base will also get raided every so often by a different 
ty different types of group, whether it be other humans trying to bring your base down, man-eating swarms of, of pals, uh, or other such things that are sent after you, and you'll have to defend that base or repair it or rebuild it once it's taken down. Uh, you'll also have a team of pals that you can take with you into the field, being able to summon one of them uh, to aid you in your fighting. Uh, and this pal just kind of works. This isn't like a Pokemon system. There's no turn base. The pal just works on its own, takes shots where it takes shots, and targets anything you target. It's very simple and straightforward. This game, at its core is that there is nothing else to it at least not yet are they going to add quests are they going to add this who knows it's game preview and it's early days but right now at its core it's this and while i will say i am going to go into the pros and cons and tell you why i think this is one of the better games that i've played in a while uh if you don't like that grind if you don't like that crafting grind or that building grind this is not going to be the game for you i would steer away from this though i will say the pal collecting is a welcomed addition to this uh and actually makes things very very interesting um Another thing you should also note is every pal can be also killed. Uh, they can straight up be killed uh, for their meat. That's right. Uh, most of your supply of food comes from the pals that you kill, uh, which I think is really interesting as well. So, let's get into the pros and cons of this thing. So pros, right off the bat, creativity, out the wazoo. I know there's a lot of people out, right now, out there right now, a lot of the Pokemon people are hammering Pal World hard for having their monsters look so similar to Pokemon. I get that to an extent, but at the same time, it kind of rings to me as when PUBG sued Fortnite for Fortnite making a battle royale. Guys, just because one person does it doesn't mean that another person isn't going to do it very similarly in tape. That's what a genre is. They're taking a genre, they're trying to add something new and different to it, and I appreciate that. Unfortunately, it's going to bear some similarities to Pokemon. The thing is, though, is <laughs> while the creatures bear, they could come right out of a Pokedex very easily, uh, that is where the similarities end. Nothing about this game is like Pokemon other than that. So, let's move on to the next one, which is the Exploration Loop. I found the loop of this game incredibly satisfying. Uh, and we'll get into why I found it so satisfying in my next pro, but basically you come back to your home, you build a couple of items, you level up your base a little bit, then you head out to try and collect more pals. Uh, and I, I've seen a lot of sites bashing this game for the lack of exploration out there, and I don't agree with it. Uh, will it potentially get old for me later on? Sure, it might. But right now, I find it really interesting to discover new pals, find where their habitats are. I've also seen some people saying that pals just appear anywhere. They really don't. They actually have a marked habitat on the map that you can check out in their specific little pal decks thing uh, that allows you to find locations where they would be at. Um, so I, I didn't really, like, I love the idea of, like, finding new areas. Plus, there's a lot of things to discover. There's settlements, which, while I'll say right now there's not a ton to these settlements, there's not a ton to these things that are happening because this is in-game preview, I found a lot more here than I was expecting to. A lot more here than was in Grounded on day one, honestly. Uh, there are caves, dungeon caves, to quest through. There are weird little events where you find a syndicate has trapped a pal, that you, a rare pal that you don't have, and you can fight them off to save the pal. Uh, there's, of course, the boss towers of each area, but there's other different locations, like, like uh, big boss pals just roaming around that if you get them, you get this big, super powerful pal. Uh, there's a lot of things to quest for and find. I mean, you add in the, the effigy statues that you find, the loot boxes that you find. I'm really finding this game so much fun to just wander around in. Uh, and I wasn't expecting it. Really wasn't. One of the things that makes this so incredible uh, is the next pro, which is the pals at home. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give away that I have not played many automation games. It's just not usually my style. It's not something that leaps off the page at me. So like Pocket Pair's original game, Craftopia, I have never tried that or a game really like that. Uh, that being said, 
One thing that I hate about survival games is all the menial labor you have to do. You have to just constantly be cutting down trees and mining stuff. And, and, and that's fine, but then you have to go back and you have to craft the arrows and you have to repair the thing and then you have to craft this. One of the things I absolutely love about this is that the pals just wander, and this could be for all automation games and I'm just discovering it, but the pals just will do whatever. I have heard uh, complaints one of our players that he has a hard time making the pals kind of do a specific task that he wants them to do and i've also seen some other websites bashing that they can't always make the pals do what they want them to do however i find it incredibly awesome that anything any task i start and walk away from as long as i have a pal who has one of the traits necessary to do that they'll just walk over and start doing it um that's not what I was expecting. From the reviews that I had watched ahead of time, I was expecting to have just a horrible nightmare time trying to manage the pals, whereas I don't. They just do what they're supposed to. They do whatever I start, they finish. And I love that because then all I have to do is I have to go to the... If I want to cook, I go over to the camp, the, the campfire, I set up my cooking meal, I walk away, I set up some arrows to be built, maybe some pal balls to be built, I walk away, I make some beds for people to build, I walk away, and the pals just start working on it. They start building, uh, and they do it really well. Could it be a little bit better? I think it could, just given from what I've heard from players in the later game when they're trying to get their pals to stop just collecting stones and collect ore and stuff like that. Um, but I think that overall, it is a really, really well done good. It gives you a good feel, because I can go back, I can spend a half an hour setting up everything I want to happen at the base, then I can head on out go questing for some more pals, you know, or I can go do some other menial labor that the pals maybe can't take care of, like cutting down some trees or doing some mining off my base, which it's just great to have them doing things. It definitely feels like many times, I know I'm going really long-winded on this one, but many times in survival games like Ark or even Grounded, I will look at the tasks that I have to do by myself and it's just, it's just like a mountain on top of my head and I end up walking away. And that sucks because those get the game would be fun if I could get through it with this the pals make that easier they make you feel like oh I can just start it pals will finish it I can go do the fun thing now and that's really cool and I really enjoy that my next pro is the pals themselves yeah their art style is very similar to Pokemon I'm not gonna mince words it is however I think Pokemon needs to take some notes on this one uh, without a doubt I think um, every one of these pals the way they work is every one of these pals has certain traits those allow them to do jobs at home so like if you have the handiwork trait they can actually build you stuff at the normal crafting table. If they have the kindling trait, they can cook you stuff. Uh, if they have the water trait, they can water your crops. Um, stuff like that, really useful, really awesome. But they all somehow, all 110, have a special ability specific to that pal uh, that you can bring out. Sometimes you need a harness, maybe it's to ride them for speed. There's one that I really enjoyed called uh, Fox, Fox Parks. Fox Parks, which is this little fiery fox. If you get its harness, you can pick him up and use him as a flamethrower. Uh, I thought that was really cool. There's another one that I have called Depresso, where if you press the, his special ability, he drinks a bunch of energy drinks and then just goes crazy. Um, all of them have some special ability. It's so much fun to find the pals, figure out what they do, figure out whether they'd be better at base, better with you. And what I'm finding is really interesting about these pals is a lot of them could be used either or. They have a use in your team, they have a use back at base, which really allows you to kind of take the pals you want that look cool and go out and do whatever you want. I think that's really good. Really cool and I'm really enjoying it. My final pro before I get into the cons is the leveling system was not what I expected. Uh, grounded, I enjoyed my time Grounded. I think Grounded is a stellar game. I'm not trying to insult it, but like I said, this game made me feel grounded. Uh, like just the way they do just about everything uh, was very similar to me so I can't not compare it and I love that this one has a level system I'm constantly increasing my base stats whether it be carrying capacity stamina health whatever really nice addition really nice touch uh, whereas ground it does have kind of some leveling but it's much more uh, 
<clears throat> it's much more like kind of a, um, organic leveling through like mutations and doing things in game. Whereas this, you you just level up and you get some bonus stats. I really thought that was cool. I, I like the way they do that, and I like the way that your 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 pals kind of level up with you when you take them out with you, which is really nice. There's no like in Pokemon, it's a completely different game, but I'm gonna compare it to Pokemon a little bit. Pokemon, you can if you don't use certain Pokemons, they just stay at their level. They don't go up. I don't have anybody that's more than like four levels lower than me at this point in pals because if you've got them at base, they're leveling up, they're experiencing. If you're taking them with you, they're leveling up, they're experiencing. So like, no matter what, you never have that like, oh, I haven't done anything with this guy, so he's not leveled up. They're all, they all feel like valuable members of your team. All right, so let's get into cons. I do have some cons on this one. Uh, my first and foremost biggest con is, well, before I get into the cons, I do want a disclaimer. This is game preview. I'm pretty sure a lot of these things are going to change as the course of this goes on. And if you're watching this, you know, years in the future, I want you to remember that this review came out maybe three days after it launched, four days, something like that. So just keep in mind, probably a lot of these are going to be fixed. But and they're very nitpicky, but I still have a problem with that. Number one, it's way too easy to accidentally throw pal balls and not get them back. So you have to build the pal balls, and they're not a small amount of resources. They're a decent sized amount of resources that you have to spend to build these pal balls to catch the pals. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is if you throw a pal ball and it doesn't connect with a pal, it just evaporates into nothing. You can't collect it back. It's just gone. It's just off the map. It's gone. I don't mind if I throw a pal ball at a pal and it breaks out or it fends off the attempt to capture. Um, but with this, but if you just accidentally tap the LB button, you'll toss a pal ball and it's just gone forever. I've wasted all my resources. I can't get it back. I wish that if you threw a pal ball and it didn't connect with a pal, it just stayed on the ground so I could pick it back up. I don't mind losing it if it fails, but I really mind losing it if I accidentally toss it on the ground. I hate that, and I am always accidentally tossing it on the ground. And one of the big reasons I'm always accidentally tossing it on the ground is if you are watching this, you can already tell I have some sort of weird bug on my game. I don't know if it's for all Xbox or not, but there are all these places where it says, to do this thing, but it doesn't actually put the button. A lot of these games do this. They'll be like, they'll show an icon of the button. Maybe it's LB, maybe it's A, and then right next to it, it'll say what it does if you press that button. None of the options on my screen has this, so it's a guessing game. I know I can do these options, but I don't know what buttons do what. So when I first started playing this game, it was a little bit of a nightmare. I could not figure out what attacked, what jumped, what did anything. I could tell I could do all that, but there's no icon for the buttons anywhere in there. Really hope they fix this, put the buttons in. I'm sure they will, but I gotta point it out. Uh, and finally, my last con, again, nitpicky. The building is a little bit tedious in this. For me, I have not noticed a way to move my stuff. If there is a way, please let me know because like I said, I'm suffering this button bug, so it doesn't, like, even if I go into the options, it doesn't show me what buttons do what. However, um, I can't seem to move any of my stuff, so if I place them in a weird place, I have to destroy them and rebuild them to actually do anything with them. The other thing that's tedious is when, you, when you're doing grounded, comparing it to grounded again, but you can enter the build mode, you can set kind of a phantom spot of all the places you want walls and floors to be and then you can go out and get the equipment and then just come back and attach it into the places almost like a living blueprint of sorts uh, in addition to that if you pick like a wall in grounded and you click a wall and it places the walls blueprint the wall will stay up and then you can just place another one and another one and another one with this you have to go into the menu pick the wall place the wall. You have to have the equipment. You cannot set down a blueprint. You have to have the stuff. If you don't have the stuff, you got to go collect it. Then it, the whole thing goes away. You have to go all the way back into the menu, pick the wall again, make sure you have the stuff, attach another wall. It's so tedious. It's so tedious. I am assuming that they're going to streamline this. Again, it's game preview, but it is 
Ooh, super, super frustrating to come from a game that, that does building right to this one. It's a little bit harsh. I mean, all in all, the building's not bad. I like the options. I like the way it works. I just wish that they streamlined it and the flow a little bit better. That's it. What, am I going to stick with this? Am I not? Right now, yes. This game is on my mind. I can't stop playing it. I'm really enjoying it. I like the exploration. I love the fact that there isn't a super heavy story, so I can just kind of go do whatever the hell I want. I like that, that there's no pressure or anything. I'm just a guy running around building a home on a Pal Island. This is the kind of game that I love. Uh, and I love the fact that like usually the survival aspects will put me off. This one kind of makes them much better with the pals. Everything's better with pals. That should be the, the title of this right here. Everything's better with pals. So did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What do you guys think? You can comment in the uh, comments below or you can contact us on Discord. Uh, the link is in the description below. You can contact us on Facebook at OldManGamingDH, on X at OldManGaming9, and then you can join us on... <clears throat> and as long as you keep watching and listening, we'll keep making. We'll see you guys next time.